Hello, everyone. This is in continuation to our project evaluation and review technique, one numerical problem what we took. Uh, in the previous videos, we did uh, initially the construction of a project network based on the data given. Then we uh, found the expected duration and vari variance of each activity in the second video. And in the third video, we understood how do we do a forward pass and backward pass calculations. And then subsequently, how do we find the critical path and also the expected project completion time? This is what we had seen in the previous three different videos, right? In case if you haven't watched those videos, I request you to first watch those three videos to come to this uh, before coming to this particular video. So in this video, we are going to solve this uh, question B. That is, what is the probability of completing the project on or before 35 weeks? So let us first define, uh, let capital X equal to actual project completion time. Question is, <clears throat> To find out probability of this actual project completion time to be within 35 weeks, less than or equal to 35, isn't it? So if we read once again, it is on or before 35 weeks. So I am mentioning it as less than or equal to 35 weeks. Now, uh, we know this X is actually following a beta distribution. If I have to convert it into a Standard normal distribution, we use the conversion factor. We will write where z equal to x minus mu by sigma because here I am going to write that uh, conversion here. Means if I subtract mu this side, I need to do the same thing this side. If I divide sigma this side, I need to do the same thing the other side of the inequation or inequality. Now, this conversion, that is Z, this is supposed to follow in standard normal distribution. So it is a normal distribution having a mean zero and variation one. I, I had uh, made videos on normal distribution also. In case if you have any doubt, you can refer to that about normal distribution and standard normal distribution uh, in my other video in the same channel, right? You can verify that, right? So now, this is what we know x minus mu by sigma is our z. Now 35, what is mu? Mu is nothing but the expected total duration. This is our mu. So it is 16. How do we find standard deviation? For that, we need to identify what is the critical path. It is C, G and J. C what is the variance? It is 4. G, what is the variance? It is 1.78. J, what is the variance? It is 0 0.11. So we will add all those. So variance, that is sigma square is uh, sum of sigma i the square, where i is the uh, critical activity. So we already identified those and circled it. It is 4, 1.78, 4, 1.78, plus 0 0.11. That is the last variance. Okay. Now let us add these three to get what? Uh, it is 8, 9, and here it is 5. So 5.89 is our variance of the project duration. So that means sigma, which is square root of variance, will be square root of 5.89. What is that? It is standard deviation of the expected duration. Expected duration. So what is square root of 5.89? It is 2.426 something. I'll round it off to 2.43. So here we'll substitute 2.43. That means we are supposed to find this. What is this? This is equal to prob probability of Z less than or equal to 35 minus 16. 
that is 19 divided by 2.43 that works out to 7.82 so now let us uh, represent this means this one we will represent it in a graphical form below let me go move to the next page there i will mention it in the graphical form let us draw a x axis and the standard normal distribution or a normal distribution both will be looking like a bell curve this is negative infinity this is positive infinity then let us draw a center line which will be our mean and this point is also the modal point because it is unique and uh, standard normal distribution or normal distribution both are unimodal distribution means it will have single mode in it and since it is a standard normal distribution the center point is zero now what is this probability it is 7.82 means it should be less than the area should be less than 7.82 7.82 being a positive number it will come somewhere here so let me draw a line again a perpendicular line again this we will call it as 7. Point, sorry 7. Point what 7.82 okay now if we look into this probability it is less than or equal to means in the graph i have to shade it completely to the left side of 7.82 like this this entire area we are interested in finding it out what is that area so i can write this uh, probability of z less than or equal to 7.82 as probability of negative infinity to 7.82 negative infinity less than z less than or equal to 7.82 now this one this i will split it because negative infinity to 7.82 is the same as negative infinity to 0 and then 0 to 7.82 so that is equal to probability of negative infinity less than z less than or equal to 0 plus probability of 0 less than z less than or equal to 7.82 now uh, we had already seen in our normal distribution lectures that normal distribution or standard normal distribution both are symmetric on both sides which means uh, the area from negative infinity to zero will be the same as area from zero to infinity both are the same that means this is 0.5 this is also means zero to infinity is also 0.5 so that means this negative infinity to zero should be 0.5 and this one that is 0 to 7.82 we can very well refer to the tables the table is called as let me write that the table is called as area under standard normal distribution tables that table we can refer to find out what is the area for that particular z value means i'm talking about this for this so if we refer we will get the value as 0 0.4999 one more nine so if you add these two it is almost 100 percent or almost one so that is the probability it looks quite logical reason is see uh, the uh, the expected total duration we got it as 16 weeks whereas this question is asking about 
what is the probability of uh, the project getting completed, actual project getting actual duration to be 35 weeks. 16 and 35 is actually more than double, means almost it is 100% sure that you will complete the project. So that is why still you don't get to one, you get almost 99.9999 percentage, right? So it is, I can also write this as 99.99 the percentage. This I have mentioned the probability up to four decimal places. If you increase it, it will go further 999. Means almost it is a sure event that you will be able to complete the project within that stipulated time. So we will stop uh, this particular lecture till this. And one more, uh, what do you call, question is left in this, which we will see in our next video. Right? So I will, we have finished till this. This part E we'll see in our next video. Till then, see you all. Take care.